Hey everybody, it's Friday and I'm back. I feel like I was just doing this, but it was Monday, right? So it hasn't even been a week. I'm excited about today because it's my favorite treats and little packaging. That's always our favorite and I'm calling it last minute, even though we have two weeks. Because, you know, we get down to that last few days of Christmas and we have to come up with treats, right? For those people that we haven't really thought about. I've started thinking about <clears throat> school and who I need to treat at school. All the, the um, art teacher, the music teacher, all those people. So it's time to start thinking about all that. So that's what we're going to do today. Hey girls, it's good to see you guys. All right, I'm going to pull you up here. Uh, make sure I'm in the right place and we're gonna get started I have some things to share with you guys today you know it's like I forget how to here we go it's like I forget how to use Facebook hi Susan hey everybody all right come on Facebook do what we want you to do we want you to share boom done okay now I can open it I can see your comments Oh, you guys, I hope you've had a great week. It's been busy around here. Um, of course, I think I say that probably every week, don't I? <laughs> it's busy every week. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is turn the camera around pretty quickly because I have lots of things I want to show you today, and I think it'll just be best if I flip you guys around um, without a lot of talking. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to do that. Let me move this. You guys, hold on just one second teacher gifts yes i am always on the hunt for teacher gifts um but you know this is our last year in elementary school so we won't need as many because when they get into middle school um they don't want to take treats to their teachers necessarily although i do send treats if i have any middle school or high school teachers out there i do send <laughs> michelle hi i do send treats um, but not as many as we do in elementary school. You know, being an elementary school teacher, I think I'm a little more partial, or I was an elementary school teacher. Okay, well, since this is here, let's talk about this. Um, welcome to Facebook Friday, if you've never joined us. I usually do three projects. Um, typically, I use the same product but this week we're not using the same product because I feel like I'm down to the wire and I'm I've got all kinds of, of Christmas things that I haven't used but um also to go with those three projects I do have a pdf for you over at pinkbuckaroo.com you will find this on today's post under the last photo Amazon's walking up to the house so get ready to hear Charlie they just delivered I'm not kidding 10 minutes ago and now they're back it's a different driver can't they consolidate that stuff you guys um, you'd think they'd get it, <laughs> you'd think they'd get it together and say, okay, Erica's got 70 things <laughs> coming today. Let's have one driver. Not really 70 things, but anyway. Okay, Charlie, we've heard you. Go back. Um, so anyway, over at pinkbuckaroo.com, you'll find this PDF. And what I, the whole point of me going about that is, um, right here at the, the second page of the PDF is the information about product shares for the 2020 spring catalog here it is um <clears throat> if you have been a customer of mine in the last six months you'll hopefully be getting one of these in the mail soon i haven't heard that anybody's gotten them yet i don't know if stampin up has mailed them i'm going with stampin up's mailer this time um it goes live january 3rd and i always do a product share and so the product share registration is open so if you're ready to do that you know you want to do that type that in and i'll take you there um, my product shares come two different ways. Let me show you the first option. Six, first is the paper. And a share is basically taking every pack of paper that's new and splitting it up among four or eight people. Um, that way you get a piece of every piece. Does that make sense? Um, the six by 12 um, share is my favorite because I was a scrapbooker and plus you get tw twice as much paper. There are, oh, one, two, how many, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven new packs of paper. Um, all of them are six by 12 except for the best dressed paper and it is six by six. So no matter whether you get the six by six share or the six by 12 share, this one of course is gonna be six by six. So you're gonna get a piece of each of each sheet one of each this is my favorite isn't that gorgeous um and let's see i'm just going to quickly flip through here why can't i get a hold of this paper 
<laughs> I don't know. I want to do it from the front. Okay, maybe I should do it like this. We'll flip it over. So you've got all the paper here, the Paris paper, the golf paper, the tropical paper, the cute little birthday paper, um, and then, the, of course, the Valentine specialty paper that's a little shimmery. Now, if you get this paper and the ribbon share, which I'll show you in a minute, you're also going to get a piece of each of the, there's two celebration papers. Look how gorgeous this paper is. Gorgeous, and then this one is black and white. So you'll get, if you buy both the paper and the ribbon, um, you'll get a sample of the celebration paper too, okay? You'll get a sheet of those. So that's the six by 12 size, and it comes just like that. And if you are not a scrapbooker, you don't want that much paper, you can get the six by six. You don't have to be a scrapbooker to get the six by 12, but um, this is the six by six. It's packaged the same, it comes just like that. You'll get one sheet of each, it's just everything will be six by 12. And then there are only six new ribbons in the catalog. I'm not including the twine because you guys trying to um, divvy up twine is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just doing ribbon, okay? Um, six new ribbons. Um, they will be packaged like this. You'll get a yard of each of these, okay? So buy, buy the ribbon and the paper, and you'll get that celebration paper um, sampler for free too. Now, the costs are pretty low this time because there's not a ton. Like when we have the annual catalog, there's a lot more paper and a lot more ribbon. Um, this one is, this includes shipping, okay? $27, $38, ribbon is $12. Um, if you buy the ribbon, the, the ribbon and the six by six, it's 35. And if you buy the ribbon and the six by 12, it's 46 and that includes shipping, okay? So if you know you want those shares, um, go over to pinkbuckroo.com one post back or type that in and that will take you right directly to that information. All right. <coughs> I'm sorry guys, this cough is persisting like nobody's business, especially at night. I don't know. I'm not sick. I don't have congestion. It's just that cough. So I apologize. Okay. So there's that. Now, second thing I want to tell you about is, um, the Sip Sip Hooray class and the Rhonda's class, which is called Cheers to That, we're offering the two of them together. You can buy one. Um, you could buy just the Sip Sip Hooray class. You can buy just the Cheers to That class, or you can buy them together and save on shipping, okay? So this is the one that I designed, um, Sip Sip Hooray. Uh, it includes half of a pack of paper, a bolt of ribbon, and a pack of sequins, as well as five of the projects. And then you can add the bundle, if you don't have it, on for a discount. Um, there's also a couple of other things you can add on to this class, and I can't remember what it is. Wink of Stella and um, Champagne Shimmer Paint, if you want. Um, so there's that, and then Rhonda's class, let's look at the picture, because I don't have her samples. Rhonda's class is, is the camera moving, you guys? I have my fan on, because I was hot, so tell me if it's shaking and I'll turn it off. Um, it looks like to me it's not, but that doesn't mean that it's not. Um, Rhonda's class is right here, and she's using that beautiful, um, peacock foil paper, you get half a pack of that, you get a pack of the rhinestones and a bolt of the ribbon, okay? Um, so those two classes, if you get both of them, they ship together $5 less, all right? You say $5 when you get both the classes. The deadline on that is, what is the 15th? That is Sunday, okay? So Sunday is the last day to sign up for this class. This is this class will not get to you before Christmas. It will be something to kick off the new year. Um, in your stamping room or your stamping office or wherever you stamp, okay? All right, so there's that. Um, let's see, let me remind you about the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. And I have had on my to-do list to send these out this week. All of you guys who ordered for the free shipping day, wow, thank you, by the way, amazing. You guys are awesome. Um, I just want you to know that I greatly appreciate any order. <laughs> but especially a surprise like that on free shipping day. Those make and takes went out this morning, okay? And I haven't emailed this out. I'm gonna set this on my computer as soon as I tell you about it and I'm gonna email it to you when I'm done. Um, you get this free with any $50 order from, uh, from me, Stampin' Up! order. And um, it has 12 different tutorials from 12 different demonstrators. And it includes metric and imperial measurements. Um, if you are 
not going to order from me, but you still want it, it's available in my PDF store for $15. Um, and you can find that um, on my blog as well. And here's my project this month. It's a little champagne. Oh, it's falling apart. I don't know, something's missing. <laughs> but it, it holds those cute little champagne um, jelly bellies. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna set on my computer and that'll be the next thing I do. Prizes, how about prizes? You guys, we didn't have as many shares last week, but I think it's because it was just Monday. I thought it was a pretty good prize this week. Um, Mike Cruz, I have your mailing address, that's my downline. And Tiffany Weekly, I don't have your e uh, your mailing address. I would love to send you guys a prize as a thank you for sharing my video. I always, um, <laughs> I, see I get distracted when I start reading y'all's comments. I always appreciate when you guys share the video on Facebook and um, I pick randomly two people each week to send a prize to. So Mike and Tiffany, thank you. Itty Bitty Christmas is one of the best stamp sets in the catalog. We're actually going to use it twice today. Um, so they are getting that. Mike, I'll get that out to you. And in fact, Mike, I think I'm sending you a bingo package. So I will just throw that in your bingo package. But Tiffany, please send me your... Um, mailing address. This week I've got a pretty good price to the Christmas crowd. Now it won't get to you by by Christmas time, but you can use it next year, right? And I've got uh, two pairs of blends with each of them. So all you have to do is share the video and you will be entered in to win. All right. <coughs> you know, I think maybe it's the talking that's causing me to cough because I was not coughing like this before I started the video. Oh, sorry guys, I know it's probably really annoying. All right, what did I do with my PDF? Where did I put it? Is it right here, is it staring at me? How does this happen every week? Every week I lose something, yep, here it is. Okay, so let's get started. Let me get everything situated. Let's make sure that's centered because I can't stand seeing the video in my feed and it being crooked. So this week is all about I'm looking for something else and trying to pretend like I have it together, you guys. Um, I'm looking for the tape so I can tape that down. And I had it here because we're going to need it for a project. And I don't know where it went. This week is all about treats. And I teased you guys, you guys yesterday about my family's favorite Christmas treat. So that I'm saving that to the end. You're going to have to wait. I'm going to show you that. Um, so three treat uh, packages. And the thing about these, I tried to keep them... Um, so that you could change. We're getting pretty late uh, towards Christmas. So ordering um, a stamp set or a die, you can get it before Christmas. I don't know if you're gonna have enough time. It just depends on how quick you are if you wanna make it exactly the same. There's always expedited shipping. And a little secret about me, I am so impatient that I typically expedite every single order I ever place because I cannot stand to wait once I have ordered something. Um, but these three are just fun treat holders that um, you can use for teachers, for um, your neighbor, for um, the mailman, the mail or the UPS man. <coughs> or the Amazon delivery guy. This time of year, those guys are run ragged. So I, I have been leaving little treats out for them because you know they come to my house like 14 times a day. <laughs> um, also, if you put in an order, if you have one more thing you want to put in um, but, um, this weekend before Monday at midnight, I will send you today's make and takes next week. Um, they probably won't get there by Christmas, but you'll have them next year, okay? You could use them next year. Um, this is what they look like typically. The, these are the ones that just went out today. Um, I always throw in a cute little thank you tag. Um, and then it, it has, you know, it has everything that you need to make whatever project that we're making, okay? Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for the shares. Trying to figure, oh no, Catherine, you're getting some yucky weather. I am sorry to hear that. Okay, let's start, mm, yeah, let's start with this one. This, and someone emailed me and I apologize because I, I have a horrible memory and now I can't remember who it was, but she had made um, something, a little box from one of my PDFs, but she had made it Christmas, I think, and then I thought, oh, that's a great idea. I'm gonna do that too. So thank you, and if you're on here, please tell us it was you because my brain can't remember anything. But this is a slider box. It slides open like that and it has a Hostess cupcake in it. Now, if you're not a baker and you wanna hand out treats, just go to the Little Debbie Hostess cupcake aisle at your grocery store, 
because everybody likes these too. These are really cute, I thought. Um, holiday cupcakes and from Walmart. So you could probably find them at your grocery store or wherever. So it's just like a little drawer that opens and closes and holds a hostess cupcake. Now, think about this. There's going to be a Valentine version. There's, a, you know, all different kinds of... There's even a little baseball one in the spring that I have bought before. So this little drawer, this little box drawer, could be used for any um, occasion. But today we're going to do Christmas, and we're going to use this gorgeous free skate bundle, which, again, I've used it once all season, and I just really wanted to use it today. Okay, <clears throat> we're, let's make the box first, okay? You're going to need, now remember, all of this is on this PDF right here, okay? All of it's right here. Everything that I'm using is right there. You're gonna need a five and five eighths by six piece of real red cardstock. And we're gonna score all four sides at one and a half. Suddenly, yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, sometimes I'm when I'm live and I start doing something, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that doesn't look right. But that looks right. One and a half on all four sides. You're also gonna need a piece of three and an eighth by, let's see, did I trim it? Yep, nine and a half. <laughs> three and an eighth by nine and a half, uh, real red. And we're gonna score it at three and three fourths, five and a fourth, eight and eight. No, that's not right. I didn't copy all my measurements off. Okay, I can figure it out. I'm missing something. Eight. All right, so then this right here, we need to have that same over here. So that is one and a half. So add in, but that doesn't look right, does it? All right, I've got the PDF open right here. You know, I jinxed myself, didn't I? All right, hold please while I check my measurements over here on the original PDF. I didn't close it. I think I kind of knew. Like, you're not paying attention to what you're doing. Okay, it should be one. All right, let's 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 get another piece, shall we? Real red, and by the way, I am almost out of real red cardstock. How does that happen two weeks before Christmas? I do not know, and it's gonna be a problem. Three and an eight by nine and a half. Okay. All right, let's resume. Where were we? One inch. <laughs> One. I can see on there I left the little, where did I put it? See, look, there's the inch mark, but there's no number. One, three and three fourths, five and a fourth, and eight. But why is that longer? Oh, I know. I know. I got it. I got it now. I was thinking straight when I designed this. I was not thinking straight when I typed it. That's what happens. All right, burnish all these lines. These little segments are one and a half and one and a half. And I was thinking, why isn't that one and a half? Well, that's because it's just the tab. And it's just going to, it could be one and a half if you wanted it to, but it doesn't have to be, okay? All right, so burnish those lines. Use your super strong adhesive, tear and tape, Tombow, or if you're like me and you're still hoarding fast fuse, you can use your fast fuse, okay? So there's the little piece that the drawer goes in. <coughs> oh my goodness. All right, give me your remedies. What will help soothe an irritating cough? I'm, I'm not sick, I don't have anything else. I've just got this this uh, leftover cough from when I was sick. All right, burnish those lines, and you're gonna cut the corners from score line to score line. I actually made myself some tea with honey last night, because I did know, I've heard that, that helps. It didn't really help that much. So, I don't know, honey, yeah, Kat, that's what I heard. I actually saw, um, that to like swallow a tablespoon of honey and I was like oh, I don't really want to do that that's why I made the tea and put the honey in it thank you for my nails you guys <sighs> you don't want to hear my nail drama but just know that there was drama you guys know I didn't want to get my nails done for on stage but I did it and now I'm sucked in because I liked it but then I went back and got it done do you guys see what I'm doing I put adhesive on those four I'm going to fold them in. 
the second time I got it done, within two days it was all peeling off and looked terrible. <sighs> this is why I don't want to get my nails done. I had to go back. All right, so see, a little box, and it just goes in like that. So cute, right? A big spoonful of honey and lemon mixture. Nina, I don't know. That doesn't sound very good. <laughs> that sounds like it's not going to taste good. But I did hear today on the Today Show that honey, I mean, that lemon is like your super, one of your super foods. Was it the Today Show? Yeah, it was. So maybe I need to get, maybe I, that's what I need to try. Oh, it's just so irritating. And I feel bad for my husband because I'm sure he's like, oh my gosh, enough with the coffee. All right, so there we go. There's that. And all I did on the side, you could, if you're not lazy like me, you could punch holes and tie this through there. Yeah, but I was lazy. So I'm just going to stick it on with a glue dot because I don't really need it to pull the drawer. Oh, I don't know. We probably should, huh? She probably should tie those through a hole. Two little holes there on the side right there. Okay. So there's your box. Let's see. That works. <laughs> okay. Now let's make our cute little skate. Here are the dies that, that um, go with the free skate bundle. And this die does not go with the free skate bundle, but I'm going to use it. This is from, remember last week, from the Holly Jolly dies, okay? But we're going to use these two right here, this one and this one. And then I've already cut it out right here. We're going to cut that out of silver foil. And um, let's see. Boop, boop, boop. Where are we? Where are we? Right here. The stamps that I'm using, I didn't even tell you. Um itty bitty Christmas, which is what I just gave away from the pride on the uh, last week sharing the to and from such a good stamp to have on hand. And then just a little holly, the holly uh, leaves right there. <coughs> oh, stop coughing. Okay. Now, um, you want to use your um, dye brush when you cut this one, all the little things will be sticking. So just use your dye brush. Um, to get all of those little what I call doodads out. I can see you guys are saying lots of things, but if I look right now, I'll be distracted. And I already feel like I'm probably annoying some of you with my chatter and my oops. It happens. Oh no, I'm not going to close it yet. All right, fine tip glue. And we're going to adhere this right on top. So I did very vanilla on very vanilla. I wanted it just very classic looking and um, I didn't want it to really take away from um, the red box. So let's put, while that's drying, I'm gonna put my stamp pad right there on it so it'll dry flat. And we will stamp the holly. Am I out of the frame? Boy, I was having so much trouble with that last week. Holly in Old Olive on Old Olive. And we will grab the big shot. I think this is the only time we're going to need this big shot today. I tried to do as much of it as ahead of time as I could. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I didn't put that in there because I thought we were going to use it, which we are, but oh, I can't do it with one hand. All right. Now, you guys, next week, while I'm moving all of this, let's talk about next week. I was thinking I was going to do Facebook Friday next week. Um, but however, I realized that f next Friday is all the festivities at school. So it most likely will not happen next week. And then I realized that anything that I was going to mail you, it would get there way after Christmas, but you probably don't want to see non Christmas stuff before Christmas. Anyhow, this is how my brain was working. So I've gone back and forth and back and forth. And what I'm going to say is that there will be no Facebook Friday next week. However, there might be a surprise Facebook Live some other time during the week that's just for fun with no attached, um, you know, uh, giveaway um, like the make and takes. So stay tuned because I do have some other projects that I never got to that I never got to show you. Um, so maybe we'll do that. Let me grab a drink. Okay, so we got that and instead of, because I stamped it on green, if I color those berries, they would look weird. So I'm just going to take these and I need my take your pick tool, which I was just using over here. I, um, 
usually take the the two weeks around Christmas just off. And um, obviously we've all got stuff going on for Christmas. And I also like to take that opportunity to get all the Christmas stuff out of my office and get all of the new um, spring catalog stuff ready. So that's most likely what I will be doing over the next two weeks, okay? Um, so stay tuned. I have lots of fun sneak peeks for you um, for the new spring catalog because secretly behind the scenes, I have been doing lots of it, lot, using lots of it, planning. I've got one class ready to go for January, another one almost about halfway done. And see how that little silver foil skate is so cute. That just makes it so realistic, I think. Very cute, as realistic as paper can be anyway. Um, so stay tuned uh, for all of that, okay? Okay, before we put that on, let's stamp our to and from. Oh, wait. Oh my goodness. Here, I want to show you what I did here. See how there are these little holes? I got my old handy 1 16th inch hole punch and I punched them all. Now, if you don't have your a 1 16th hole punch, you could also use your uh, take your pick tool or um, a bigger hole punch. I originally started using my 1 eighth I think is it is that this the next one up the one eighth it was a little bit too big so I decided to go down to the one sixteenth but try your take your pick tool or your um paper piercer if you have one of those and this is just um twine old olive twine which is going to be interesting seeing me thread all through these holes while you guys watch live Mm, maybe I won't do it, but oh, there we go. Um, but so you just start from the back. If I had a a needle here, it would be way easier. I don't remember this being tricky when no one was watching me. Isn't that funny how that works? All right, actually I need to get it way more than that. So you're just gonna go down and around, in and out. When I, um was teaching kindergarten. We used to do a sewing project, believe it or not, around Thanksgiving. And they would sew with a needle and thread this little, we called it a papoose. It was a little Native American doll. And the boys sewed um, pouches, little arrowhead pouches. It was so fun. It was so hard to do it. I had to do it in small groups but they loved it and it was just so, they were so proud of themselves and their parents thought I was crazy that I was giving them, um, you know, needles, but they did it, they did it. So if they can do that, you can do this. Although doing it on camera, again, not my best laid plan. I should have done it ahead of time maybe. <laughs> All right, so this week, if you registered for Bingo to Go, by the way, it's been sold out since the second day. Thank you very much, everyone who registered. Um, your bingo kits are packed and ready. I just need to print out labels. So they will um, go out Monday, which is a week earlier than I thought they were going to go. Um, I like to get those out as early as I can. Shipping has been crazy. There we go, all the way to the end. This is where I need my tape, and I don't know where it is, so we'll just use some of this tear and tape. Um, shipping has been crazy, you guys. I don't know if you have noticed, but nothing is getting anywhere um, on time. I had something I ordered for my daughter that was supposed to be delivered Monday, and it just kind of dropped off like nobody knows where it is. It got scanned at the post office and then never to be seen again. So please be patient if I am sending you something or if somebody else is sending you something, please be patient. How cute is that? So cute, worth the time and effort, right? Yeah, shipping, and I and I feel for those, you know, postal workers and um, those delivery people. We had an Amazon guy <laughs> this week. I took a picture of him because it's not the first time I've seen him do this. He's driving, I live in a cul-de-sac, and he's driving the wrong way around the cul-de-sac with the back, the side doors, kind of like a van, wide open. And he's 
so he's basically just not even shutting the door and he's going from place to place and it's <laughs> blaring his music but you know what that's fine if that's how he gets through the day whatever but anyways look how cute that is so so cute <coughs> um Anyway, so there you go. Now, I called this quick and simple treat holders. I'm not sure that stitching the, the laces in the skate is would be considered quick and easy. So don't feel like if you've got, if you're, you know, it's the day before and you've got to make 20 of these, you can skip the lacing, but I think the rest of it's pretty darn easy. And then dimensionals and boom, we're done. Cute, right? so cute i have never ice skated i don't know anything about it i don't know if you guys live near somewhere that has ice skating as a big activity in your area i just think those would be so fun even here in south texas where it's going to be 80 degrees today we still like skates <laughs> all right project one is done let me clean this mess up and we'll move to project number two hopefully my measurements are right on project two <coughs> All right, and I'm going to come back and see what all uh, you guys said about um, about my cough, because I'm sure you all have. Uh, I saw somebody, what did Marilyn say, Vicks cap rub on the bottom of your feet. Okay, I will try that, because I have heard that before. Nina, when should we receive the spring catalogs and celebration catalogs? Oh, Nina, if I had a crystal ball. <laughs> Nina, usually I send them out myself. But it is so much work um, for me to pack up hundreds of catalogs right here, right before Christmas. And last year, um, because as demonstrators, we can we can pay Stampin' Up! to mail our catalogs for us. And I don't ever do that because it was taking Stampin' Up! way too long to, well, it wasn't Stampin' Up!'s fault. It was, it go, they go media mail, so they take a long time. So the last two times, Stampin' Up!'s catalogs have actually arrived to everybody faster than what I could get out. So this time I paid Stampin' Up! to mail all my catalogs. So now we're at the mercy of the United States Postal Service. <laughs> all right, so hopefully, hopefully very, very soon, okay? All right, now this cute little project is a case from my friend Amy Story. Um, this is actually what it looked like at my retreat, um, at my local retreat. We couldn't send these in the boxes. Could you imagine if I sent these in the, <laughs> the box? I would be banned from shipping at that point. But anyway, um, this is what we did for just a little table treat. Um, these are the little Coke size. Um, they have little, they're limited edition Sprite Cranberry. And I actually haven't tasted them, but my kids love them. Um, and so Amy... Um, for her retreat, made a little holder, um, and she had it at her table. This is different than what she did. She also had a little thing in the front, um, and I wanted to, I needed to simplify it um, so that I could get it done. So I have simplified it some more today, and I'm going to show you how cute and easy this is to make. Have you guys seen these at the grocery store? I've seen them everywhere, wherever they sell Cokes. And look at this scalloped um, rectangle. I couldn't resist using some new product. So I'm going to show you that too. Okay, let's start by making the the bottom of it. Let me grab my Simply Scored. There's some other, I think there's one or two others that Coke has that are um, holiday, you know, and then you don't even have to make anything. You just give somebody a little soda. Teenagers would like that, right? <clears throat> Although my teenager, my old teen, older teenager, she doesn't like soda at all. She doesn't like any anything that fizzes. I don't know. She's not my child because <laughs> I do like soda. All right. This is real red. It's a real red square that is six and three fourths by six and three fourths. The first thing we're going to do is score all four sides at two and a fourth. So Amy, I don't know if she watches my lives. I don't think she does. I think her brother does sometimes though. Thank you so much for this adorable project. Um, as soon as I saw hers, I was like, sold making that so cute all right so really that's all the scoring that you need and again you guys this is one of those projects that you could adapt to um stamps that you have i tried to match paper um with the coke can i tried to get the colors as close as possible 
And another problem I'm having, I really wanted to use the snowman paper really badly. For one, I have a ton of it left over. Um, we're going to make this box exactly like we did the other box, okay? Just cut these two lines like this. But it's sold out. It's not available anymore. So um, we actually have a lot of paper right now that is sold out, not available anymore. And I don't ever want to um, make something um, that you guys wouldn't be able to recreate if you really wanted to. So... So this time we are using Real Red from the Regals Designer Series Paper Stack. But if you have some of that um, snowman paper that was in the holiday catalog, it would be really cute too. All right. The thing I like the most was um, Amy used this, the sentiment from Itty Bitty Christmas that says, have a sugar sprinkled season. I thought that was adorable. Perfect. All right. So you've made the little box and now we're just going to put this back on it right here. But before we do that, <coughs> let me show you. These are new dies called Stitched So Sweetly in the spring catalog. And look, Stitched. Sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. Siri thinks I'm talking to her. No, Siri. What did I say that sounded like Siri? Stitch so sweetly, maybe? No, nope, she didn't say anything. <laughs> that is annoying. Stitch so sweetly in the spring 2020 catalog. Look, stitched, stitched scallop rectangles. How stinking cute. And then these, I don't even know what you call them, but they're adorable. Um, these need to be on your first order. And it doesn't go long enough. However, this is going to be down in the bottom of the box and this is where the can is going to be, okay? Um, what, you haven't found these sodas yet? Every single place you've looked, sold out? Are you guys talking about the sodas? The Sprites? What are you talking about? I, I looked away. The Ice Skate? The Ice Skate bundle is still available. You guys are scaring me. What's going on? What's missing? Okay, I'm distracted. All right, now here's that Whisper White. The sodas, huh? Okay, have you tried places like the pharmacy, like CVS, Walgreens, Target? Target has everything, everything. If not, they have regular sodas all year long this size. This is what I buy for the girls. Instead of a full size soda, they get the baby, we call them baby Cokes. And they, you could just do a Diet Coke or a Sprite regular. Okay, so don't feel like you can't make this project if you, um, okay, I'm talking, not even telling you guys. Paper on the adorable scalloped um, rectangle at the top of this piece, and then we put it in the back right here, we adhere in the back. So don't feel like you can't do this. Use a regular soda if you can't find um, this particular soda. Do you guys call it soda where you are? You call it pop? soda or you call it all of its coke really alessandra everything's out hmm. they probably made just a certain amount you know and then that's it that's frustrating i'm sorry this is just a stitched square the third smallest so second from the smallest with a piece of one and three fourths by one and three fourths piece of that adorable real red designer series paper and then we're going to punch three um pine trees from shaded spruce shaded spruce was the color i felt was the closest to this fizzy drink pop yeah <coughs> um i now that i see it under this light it doesn't match as closely but that was as close as i could get with our greens at least in my in my little look see all right now I'm going to take, I punched three of these. Can you guys see that? Yeah. And I'm going to put it, I drew a line on my Simply Scored at six so that I can see. I, I've always had that there. Just kind of helps. Um, and now I'm going to line that up, two of them right here, so that we can score them in half. You can also do this on your Simply Scored. Whoops. I was off. Oh, now I'm really off. All right, whatever. And then we're going to leave one of them unscored. Okay. Okay. I wonder, you know, you can now order your groceries from Amazon um, boxed. If you guys tried boxed, it's another kind of like getting things from Sam's or Costco. Um, and then it's free shipping after $49. So you might want to check those places. Um, I'm going to tell you in a little bit when we get to the next project about the puff corn that I use. Um, I 
well, I'll tell you about that, but it's, it's not easy to find either. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna stack these trees together like that with Tombow. All right, so you have kind of a 3D tree going on there. And then we will put a little bit, me and, what's with me and the liquid glue lately? I've been using it a lot. I think I'm becoming a convert, liking the liquid glue. All right, now, I this is the third smallest stitched um, circle, I almost called it a square. And we're gonna stamp, have a sugar sprinkled season right in the middle in real red. And then here's the peppermint from the Yummy Christmas set. Remember the gingerbread set that we did? We'll add a few of those. And then last but not least, we'll add a few more of these little Holly Jolly, not Holly Jolly, Twelve Tidings enamel dots. All right, oh, I'm not doing it the right way and these stinking nails, I'm not used to them. All right, so then that, which I already have on top, I put on it with a dimensional, okay? And then last but not least, a bow, of course, because last week we only had one bow. You like that liquid glue, Kathy? Oh, Megan, you too. Yeah, Nina's right, we're friends now, we're beginning to be friends, me and the liquid glue. I make a mess of liquid glue. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. I'm pretty messy. So I have to be real careful and confident with what I'm doing to use it. Okay. Oh, he's crooked. No, stay there. Stay there before you dry so I can send you to school next week. And there we go. So cute, right? Cute. Now, if you don't want to do a soda, just fill it with candy. Write some of those 100 calorie Twix and Snickers would stand in there nicely. Or a little cello bag and you could tie the, the uh, ribbon around the cello bag would sit in there. That would be so cute. All right, project two is done. So cute. All right, one more cough. <coughs> now, oh, and there's the tape. I see it all the way across the room now. Now, let's see. Hey, I wanted to, I was going to cut the paper. Remember this guy? Mm, he's so handsome. This is what's available in the starter kit beginning January 3rd. It's free, and that's the only way you're going to be able to get it, unless you're a demonstrator, this tiny baby um, trimmer. And that's how I cut these little pieces right here, these little um, DSP pieces. I was going to show you, but then I did it ahead of time, and I didn't show you. Okay, one more, and this is the one that you guys are waiting for, I just know it. I'm gonna introduce you to something called crack corn. And many of you know crack corn already. Either I've made it for you, or you've seen it on my blog. But let me just show you, and Patty, I saw Patty on here, I was trying truly to resist the puff corn, I mean the crack corn this season, because I cannot stop eating it. When I'm making it, when I'm packing it, when it's sitting in my house, it is literally like crack. That's why we call it crack corn. You can't stop eating it. So this is what it looks like. And it's basically, it's very hard to even describe. It's like a caramel corn, but it's not popcorn. It's puff corn. And then you drizzle this white chocolate on it. And it is amazing. Um, this recipe I got probably 10 years ago from Lori Heiling. She's a demonstrator in Arizona. And um, before I even knew her, now we're friends, but before I even knew her, I got this off of her blog. Uh, and now she and I laugh about it all the time. The main ingredients is popcorn, Chester's popcorn. And I, like I said, I've been making this for 10 years and I make probably 20 bags worth every season at least. I make it for my husband's um, customers and all this school and for my team and all of this. So we go through a lot of it. Um, and let me show you what it looks like. It's not a popcorn. It's like a Cheeto, Puff Cheeto, without anything on it. It's butter flavored. You can find them in other brands sometimes. Pirate's Booty is similar, except Pirate's Booty is um, like a white cheddar. So you couldn't really use Pirate's Booty because white cheddar and caramel probably wouldn't taste as good. Um, I, this season, have found it at Target. 
Target has had a ton of it, um, and I have bought probably all 20 bags this time um, at Target. That's the only place I've bought it, and I think that's how many I've bought. So um, the other place that I can find it more likely than the grocery store is a gas station. You can go into your gas stations and find this. It's $2 a bag no matter where you go. Um, I can find it at the bigger gas stations. Dollar General too. I have found it at Dollar General before. One time many years ago, maybe four or five years ago, Big Lots had a whole different brand and it was a bigger bag, um, but it was exactly the same. So if you wanna make this, you gotta go on the hunt. Last year and the year before, I ordered it from walmart.com and it came um, in a giant bag, and, I mean a giant box, and it was awesome because I didn't have to run around looking for it. Um, but this year I didn't do it because I found it at Target. So last night when I was typing up my blog post, I looked and <coughs> it's not on Walmart, but it is on Amazon, um, but I think you have to buy, I type, it's 12 bags, which quite honestly, you could use 12 bags. <laughs> um, so I link that on my blog if you're looking for it, okay? All right, so I made a cute little bag to hold the puff corn inside, okay? Um, funny story, this is the Twall Tidings gift wrap. I don't know if you guys have seen it in the holiday catalog. We have the DSP, the Desire Series paper, and the gift wrap. And I, when I was ordering for my, um, the class that I just did that used this paper, the, and it's funny how you forget immediately when it's over, um, the cup of Christmas class. I had to order nine or 10 packs of the paper. Well, when it came, guess what I had ordered? Not the paper, the gift wrap. So I have a lot of it and of, and it's fine because I'll use it to wrap presents. It really is nice uh, wrapping paper. Um, but then I thought, well, how, what, how else could we use this? It comes um, and it looks, it's, it's not, you know, like shiny, like wrapping paper. It's kind of that um, more like, like newsprint. <coughs> Um, and it wraps really nicely. I've actually wrapped a gift with it already and it's really nice. But anyway, that's what this is and that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to show you how you can um, use just the gift wrap to make this bag. Now, it doesn't matter what the size you use is because the same concept will apply no matter what you use. Um, you can make them small, you can make them bigger, you can make a medium, whatever you want to do. Um, so... I have just cut the the pieces are are folded so that you have six basically of these squares. So I just cut one of the squares, okay? And all you're gonna do is you're going to fold like this, okay? And I'm gonna get my tear and tape, aka fast fuse, because it's faster on a video. I'm gonna adhere it overlapping. So we have like a tube, right? Okay, see that? Like a tube. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna fold it up and fold these triangles, okay? This is just basic, like origami. <laughs> origami gift wrapping. You know, you can find um, lots of ways to use gift wrap if you go to Pinterest and search different ways to use gift wrap. All right, so then I'm just putting adhesive here and you could use tape too because it's a gift bag. And then you fold that over like that and then when you pop it open down here, you have a gift bag. See how that bottom is like that? Ta-da! Very easy, right? Super easy, not difficult, and like that. Your kids could sit and do it. So now I've taken my delicious puff corn and put it in. Yeah, Ruby, I'm glad you asked. The recipe for the crack corn, I'm sorry, I didn't give it. The recipe is on today's blog. There's a link to it. It's that puff corn. It's a stick of butter, a quarter cup of dark caro syrup, um, uh, brown sugar, a cup of brown sugar. Is it half a cup? Half a cup? A cup. Go look at the recipe. Brown sugar, baking soda, vanilla. That's it. 
And then you drizzle melted almond bark or white chocolate or whatever you want on there. Okay, easy. And it's done in the microwave. Um, and I, it's, you cook it two minutes, you stir it. You cook it two minutes, you stir it. You pour it on the puff corn, put it in another minute, stir it, put another minute, stir it, spread it out. So it's, each batch is like six minutes. That's it. Um, and it turns out a little bit different every time because what you're doing is you're making a candy coating. And candy, if you've ever made candy, it has to get to a certain temperature to become, you know, hard and crunchy or whatever. So sometimes mine turn out different. Sometimes it's a little chewier. Sometimes it's not chewy at all. Um, but it still tastes amazing. Um, and I will say that if it's humid and muggy here, which happens sometimes in December, um, it doesn't turn out as well. So I usually try to wait for a, you know, blue sky day where we're not cloudy and muggy. Anyway, sorry. Thank you, Ruby. I just skipped right over that. All right. So then I have put this in one of our, just our six by eight cello bags that you can find in the catalog. And I'm going to just slide it down in there because it'll leave grease stains. I didn't put it in the, um, the actual paper bag like that. Okay. And then I'm going to pinch those sides and just fold it over. All right. Isn't that cute? It's like a little old timey popcorn bag or something. And then I just went into my junk drawer and got a clothespin. I have these many clothespins. I don't know where I got them, but probably Walmart or Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to add a bow. This is the, I haven't used this at all. This is perfect for gift wrap, ruched ribbon. We have a small ruched ribbon coming um, in the spring catalog and it's Daffodil Delight and it's so cute. It's not as bulky as this. You know, this is a one inch. It's pretty big. So it's good for gift wrap. All right, start over. I didn't leave the tail long enough. Um, calorie free, Nina. Absolutely. That's why my stomach hurts right now. <laughs> I didn't eat any of it today. That's a lie. I ate a bunch for breakfast. That's why I can't have it here because I cannot stay out of it. I have zero self-control when it comes to sugar. It's bad. And then we've got my daughter turned 17 on Monday. So her birthday cake is sitting in there. It's been, it's been a rough week. There we go, glue dot. Now, we have to have a tag, right? We have to have a tag. I am using these dies. Again, something gorgeous in the catalog that I haven't even used, so I had to pull them out. Frosted frame dies is what they're called. And I have cut uh, very vanilla. I use very vanilla again because that's the paper. It's not white, it's very vanilla. People always ask, you know, when do you use very vanilla and when do you use white? Well, whatever designer series paper I'm using is what dictates that to me. <coughs> this paper is has a vanilla base, so I use vanilla cardstock. Um, I cut that out, uh, very vanilla, and then this little stitched um, frame is gorgeous, and I cut that out. Also of the wrapping paper. The wrapping paper is thinner than our, well, hmm, I can't tell, maybe a little bit thinner than our DSP, and, and it's not two-sided. That's the difference in case you're wondering. And it's on clearance right now. Well, clearance or end of the year markdown. They've marked it way down. <coughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. <clears throat> Let me get another drink. Okay. So then we did that, and then we're going to keep it simple. So we're just going to stamp this sentiment. Another one from the Itty Bitty Christmas. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Right? Doesn't get much more general than that. This is the Pretty Label Punch. It's very pretty. Punch that out. Real red, and, uh, real red ink, very vanilla cardstock. Then I cut just a sliver of foil. It's about, looks like it's about five eighths inch wide and I'm probably about three and a half inch long. I didn't put that on the PDF today. And we're gonna just layer these up, okay? So we'll put that there. We're gonna come over here and put this here. This cute little stitch label. And I almost don't want to share my crack corn recipe with you guys anymore because now it's not mine. <laughs> it's everybody's. Everybody's using it. Once you start giving it as gifts, that's it. You'll have to make it every year. And then just clip that on right there and you're done. Easy peasy, right? 
I'm gonna make a bunch of these this weekend so that I can just put the crack corn in next week, send it to school, and be done. So fun, I love that ribbon. I'm probably gonna to have to order some more of that. Beautiful, what do you guys think? And who's gonna make some crack corn? I wanna know. I know many of you on here have made crack corn. Um, my downline, Patty, I know she has, she makes it a lot. Um, yes, if you click on today's blog, in fact, let's look. And I will show you exactly where the recipe is, okay? It's actually been on my blog for a long time um, because I share it every time, every time I use it at a, um, do, do, do. every time I use it at a retreat or whatever, everybody has to have the recipe. <clears throat> All right, here's today's blog post, pinkbuckaroo.com. Scroll down right here. Here it is. And you can find the recipe here. Click there. And here it is from 2015. And you can see how I, I put it in jars. Then that was hard because it sticks together in big chunks. But anyway, here's the recipe right here. All right, half a cup of butter, brown sugar, caro syrup, dash of salt, microwave on high. Oh, dash of salt. Hmm, I didn't do that this time. I forgot. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, my t husband does like salted caramel, so I need to remember to do that. Um, stir until fluffy, blah, blah, blah. You just lay it out. And I put on wax paper here to cool, but we have found that parchment paper is better when you lay it out. Um, you spread it out like this on your counter to dry. Um, parchment paper is better. My mom used wax paper uh, last, um, last month whenever she made it all this for my retreat. And she said it was sticking really badly to the wax paper. So I normally use parchment paper. Um, so anyhow, that's it. Here's what the puff corn looks like. Chester's puff corn, butter flavored, and it does come in another flavor, so be careful. It's like a um, spicy, I think. Here it is on Amazon. There it is, pack of 12 bags, 12 of those big bags. That would make 12 full recipes on Amazon. Uh, yeah, here's the other one, cheese. You don't want cheese, you want butter. All right, you guys. All right, so what do you guys think? Let me go back and see what you're saying. Uh-oh, I lost you guys. Let me go back, peek buckaroo. I lost the whole video. Has a, Okay, here, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Has the Facebook app been totally glitchy lately for anybody else but me? It freezes when I'm scrolling, it goes back, it starts over. If I go over to answer a text and come back, it's completely rebooted. Is that happening to anybody? My husband says no, but to me it's happening and it's driving me crazy. I don't even wanna use it anymore, yes? Debbie, anybody else I would love to know. All right, so here we have it, three treat ideas. You know, you probably should give these two together, the crack corn and the drink because it makes you thirsty. This one is for if you don't trust yourself with a crack corn because you're gonna eat it all yourself, then do the Hostess Cupcake. Remember over pinkbuckaroo.com, you'll get this PDF under the last photo. Um, and if you would like me to send you these three make and takes, make sure that your order is in by Monday um, and you use this host code, $35 minimum, and I will send them to you next week, although they most likely won't get to you till Christmas, but then next year you'll have them ready to go for Christmas, all right? All right, you guys, thank you so much. Courtney, you too, Facebook has been super glitchy. My husband, all of you are saying that. Debbie, you're saying that too. Okay, Robin, uh -huh, I'm gonna show my husband this. My husband has an Android, and the rest of us have iPhone everything in the house, Apple everything. And he, every time I complain about something, he says it's because it's an Apple product and it's not um, on his Android. Um, so, huh, I'll have to tell him. I'm wondering if I asked all of you if you had Apple, if you had a Apple phone, iPhone, if that would, we don't wanna know. I still wanna tell him. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. Remember, next week I will not be live on Friday. Um, there's not going to be a regularly regularly scheduled Facebook Live next week because it's the last week before Christmas and we all have a lot of stuff to do, right? Um, plus I have two classes to cut and get out and I'm not done with my Christmas shopping. So I gotta, I gotta nail some of that down. 
I do have some things I want to show you and I may pop on, surprise you with a few projects next week sometime. So stay tuned, okay? If I don't see you before Christmas, Merry Christmas. And I cannot wait to show you all the new things in the um, spring catalog. And you can plan on January 3rd, that is a Friday, being a huge day because that's the day the catalog goes live and we will have a huge Facebook Friday that day with all new products. Yay! All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Let me know if you have questions. Bye, everybody.